Nothing says summer like a bright, juicy, gush-in-your-mouth peach. The value of fresh and processed peaches was estimated at over $500 million for 2018, according to the USDA National Agricultural Statistics Service. Wouldn't it be great if peaches were in season longer? Well, leave it to the growers in the peach state, Georgia, to make that happen. Today, we're traveling to Byron, Georgia, to the ARS Fruit and Tree Nut Research Unit. And we're visiting with research horticulturist Train Shen Chen. Dr. Chen and his group recently released three new peach cultivars, Rich Joy, Crimson Joy, and Liberty Joy. Rich Joy is a late ripened peach with a very good color, very uniform size, and rich flavors. That's why we give the name Rich Joy. Rich Joy is named for the fruit's rich flavor and as a way to honor heiress peach breeder William Richardson Oki, who retired in 2010. Oki is known for having developed the series of Prince peach cultivars, which are still in commercial use. Crimson Joy is named for its almost fully red blush skin, and Liberty Joy gets its name because it ripens near the 4th of July. The three Joy peaches are all yellow fleshed. They soften slowly to a smooth buttery texture, it's a trait called melting, and they carry well-balanced sugar-acid ratios. All three peaches also have different chill requirements. The chill requirement is the minimum time a fruit-bearing tree must be exposed to temperatures below 45 degrees Fahrenheit before it will blossom. Rich Joy has a chill requirement of 850 hours, Crimson Joy's chill requirement is 700 hours, and Liberty Joy's chill requirement is 650 hours. This cultivar is highly tolerant to the frame freeze, and this cultivar has been survived a multiple freeze incident in Byron. So we hope the industry find it's a good supplementer for the cultivars which have a lower chill requirement but can survive in the regular freeze time. Dr. Chen explained that these new cultivars continue to be needed because the southeastern peach industry is facing multiple challenges, including more occurrences of warm winters and spring freezes which can change chilling requirements. So generally, the industry needs about 20 to 30 cultivars to cover from middle May to early August, the three months of production period. As a late season cultivar, Rich Joy ripens around mid-July. It's an attractive, large, firm, premium fruit that appears to soften slowly on the tree, which allows it to be picked over a relatively longer period compared to other cultivars. This gives peach growers greater flexibility when harvesting. Liberty Joy will typically ripen in late June to early July. Liberty Joy and Crimson Joy also appear to be less vulnerable to spring freezes. Durability is another preferred trait, especially for the shipping and packaging industries in Georgia, South Carolina, and other areas in the South. Dr. Chen is confident that his new Joy peaches can stand up to the rigors of these processes. They can sustain pretty harsh conditions during the packing and uh, handling. The bigger issue with growing peaches is disease and insect tolerance. Flies, beetles, and other bugs love peaches, and some can spread diseases to the peaches. The plum curculio, also known as a snout beetle, is one of the most serious pests in the industry. Plum cochonia is one tiny insect that can get infested inside the fruit, and then outside it looks normal, but the inside is already full of larva of this insect. Older peach cultivars, we're talking thousands of years old, they have good resistance to insects and diseases, but they're also small, hard, and bitter tasting. Over time, as new lines have been bred to improve size, color, firmness, and taste, a lot of the peach's defense mechanisms have disappeared. Dr. Chen and his team are working on breeding new lines that incorporate all the sensory traits for consumers along with the insect and disease-resistant properties that growers are looking for. Breeding is a long, comprehensive process. We have a kind of basic requirement for any cultivar released for, to the commercial use. You should have a very good quality, appearance, firmness, color, good eating qualities. So this is basically for the consumer's perspective. Check out the trio of Joy Peaches in your market. They're great in pies, cobblers, and straight up as a healthy, tasty snack.